Happy Sunday morning, friends. I am so glad that you are joining me for a morning of Pajama Church. If we haven't met yet, my name is Natalie, and I'm really glad that you are here with us this morning. For our Bible story today, we are gonna take a look into Philippians, Philippians chapter four, verse eight. And we're gonna take a look at what types of things do we think about? Do we think about things that make us happy and joyful? Or do we think about kind of negative things, things that are hard or make us sad? So I hope you stick around for our Bible story and then we are gonna go visit two of my friends this morning, Abby and Millie. I can't wait to see you at the end. Philippians 4, verse 8. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Ah, Brando, I see you've come to take over the show today. Well, not if I have anything to do about it. <laughs> Who show is it now, Brando? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> It is mine, Jonzo. <laughs> you dare show your face around here. I will not let you take over this show today, eh? Oh, God. <laughs> you were saying? And welcome to the So-and-So Show. What an incredible show we have for you today, right, Brandon? Yeah, well, incredible is a strong word. Well, yeah, so, yeah and it's, it's the perfect good. word for today's show. I don't think so. Uh, okay, okay, how about strum-diddly-umptious? Strum-diddly-umptious, when words don't suffice, and only a strum will do. Yeah, that's definitely not the word. Okay, what word would you use to describe today's show? Fine. Yeah, fine. Come up with a word. Fine. We're waiting. Fine. No, you don't have to get upset with me. I'll still I'm be patient with you. Listen. Fine. Fine? Fine. Yes, I think today's show will be fine. Fine? Mm-hmm. <laughs> or... That's it? Satisfactory. Satisfactory? Are you kidding yeah. me? The show is amazing today. Meh. Buddy, what's going on? Nothing. I just, I just don't want to get too excited. That's all. Why not? Because... The, Life can sometimes be hard, and I don't think that we should forget that. Uh, well, yeah, life can be hard, but life can be great, too. Yeah, but if I remind myself that things can always get much, much worse than when they actually do get worse, I won't be surprised. Okay, okay, okay. What if something happens that is really exciting to you? Oh, like this. That, that is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Uh... What just happened? I just... I thought about the fact that some flowers have thorns, and if you walk by them, they can scratch you. I don't understand you. Well, John, it's like this. Dog poo on new shoes and old rotten cabbage. Expired goat's milk and overweight baggage. Using a dull spoon to shave off my scruff. This is just some of my least favorite stuff. Flu germs in smoothies and watered down soda. Hearing the spoilers about Baby Yoda. My leg impaled by a billy goat's gruff. This is just some of my least favorite stuff. You put a lot of thought into this. You have no idea. 
Feastings on islands and freeze pops in bathrooms Falling from tall trees Smelling diesel car fumes Rice krispies with mayonnaise, not marshmallow fluff This is just some of my least favorite stuff when I'm laughing, when my team wins, when I'm feeling rad, I simply remember my least favorite stuff, and then I don't feel so glad. It's Bible story time with Kellen. What's up, fellas? Just trying to cheer this guy up. Why? What's wrong? Well, Kellen, it's like this. No! Not sure what's going on, but can you guys help me out with today's story? Sure, what did you have in mind? This. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Host Feud. We are joined today by our contestants, Brandon's team and John's team. Brandon, who have you brought with you today? Uh, it, well, it looks like I have a mannequin uh, with my picture on it. Not sure how helpful that's gonna be. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Brandon. Okay, that's weird. Uh, and also I have a picture of my childhood cat, Catherine the Great. Hey, ow. Hello, Kellen. Fantastic. John, who's on your team? Well, I have an enlarged picture from my eighth grade yearbook. Hey, Kellen. Hey, me. You look great. No, you look great. Aww. And uh, also on my team is a potato. Top of the morning, everyone. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. Let's hop to it. Let's play the host feud. The top eight answers are on the board. We ask the question, according to the Apostle Paul in Philippians 4.8, what kinds of things should you think about? Brandon? Dull things. Dull things. Dull things, yes. All right, let's see dull things. Ooh, I am so sorry, Brandon. John? Uh, things that are noble. Yeah, yeah, yeah you should think of noble oh, good things. answer. All right. Let's see, Noble. Number yes. two, Noble Things, John. Do you want to play or pass? Uh, what do you want to do? Play, play, let's play. We're hey, going to play. Let's play. Kellen. We're going to play, Kellen. Okay, I, I think we're going to play, Kellen. We're going to play. Kellen. We're going to play. They're going to play. John's yearbook photo. According to Paul, what kind of things should you think about? Um... I'm going to have to say excellent things. Good answer. Good, good answer. answer. Good answer. All right. Let's see excellent things. Yes. Number seven. Well done. Potato, what do you think about? Well, as a potato, people always want to add things to me or cut me into little pieces. Tater tots, french fries, hash browns. But I prefer just being a pure potato. So I'm going to say pure things. Good answer. That's a good answer. Oh, good answer. Good answer. All right. Let's see pure things. Oh. Number four. Nice job, potato. Uh, Back to you, John. Let's go with uh, lovely things. Good answer. Good answer. Show me lovely. <laughs> you Yay. got it. John's yearbook photo. According to Paul, what kind of things should you think about? I don't know. How about uh, things or people you respect? Good answer. Good yeah. answer. Good answer. Good answer. Eighth line. grade John wants you to show him some respect. Number oh, yes. six. John's team, you are on a roll. Potato, according to Paul, what kinds of things should you think about? Oh, I know what I think about a lot. Ketchup. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Um, show me ketchup. Uh, Ooh, what? that was your first strike. Two more, and Brandon's team has a chance to steal. What are you thinking about, John? What will Paul say? Um, um, I'm thinking about 
praiseworthy things? Praiseworthy things. Yes, good answer. Show me good praiseworthy. Answer. Number eight, worthy of praise. John's yearbook photo. Uh, what was the question again? According to Paul, what kinds of things should you think about? Right, right, right. Oh, well, show me what is right. So, I was just... Oh, you got it. Number three. Gnarly. <laughs> One answer left. Potato? Carved beef hash. That's a good answer. <laughs> oh, what? No, that's just wrong. Show me corned beef hash. Shocking. It comes down to this, John. One answer left. You get it right, and you win. You miss it, and Brandon's team gets a chance to steal. The number one answer is still on the board. According to the Apostle Paul in Philippians 4.8, what kinds of things should you think about? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, we need an answer. Um... So sorry, John's team. All right, Brandon's team, do you have an answer? A balls of yarn, goldfish, myself, uh, balls things of yarn. Things that are scary. Did I say that? Scary Catnip. things. Uh, really scary things. Scary things. So scary. Man, I wish this was a true or false quiz. That's it. True or false. Uh, true. Uh, you think of things that are true. That's it. Brandon's team wins! All right, yeah, we win! Wow. Thank you to both our contestants. Yeah. This was the host team. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Great job, great job, Brandon. Oh, good, good on ya. That was fun, Kellen. Yeah, definitely. No doubt. Thanks for helping, guys. So, to review, the Apostle Paul wrote this in Philippians 4, 8. Finally, my brothers and sisters, always think about what is true. Think about what is noble, right, and pure. Think about what is lovely and worthy of respect. If anything is excellent or worthy of praise, think about those kinds of things. Oh, I think I get it. I've been choosing to think about things that are negative, things that aren't lovely or pure or true. I, I should be focusing on what Paul wrote about instead. Definitely. It may not feel like it sometimes, but you are in charge of what you think. Maybe you can't control every single thought that enters your brain, but you can definitely decide what you focus on. And if we focus on these things, it can help us live and think a little more like Jesus. Thanks, Kellen. You got it. I'll see you guys later. See you. Yeah, bye, Kellen. What are you doing? I'm trying to, trying to control what I think about. It is not easy. Oh, well... Don't think about me dressed like a Ninja Turtle going down a water slide. <laughs> oh man, now that's all I can think about. <laughs> uh, reveal the question! Oh, what do you tend to focus on? Be honest. Sometimes I focus on what can go wrong, but mm. after today, I'm going to work on that. Oh great, and I'm gonna focus on excellent and true things like pizza with extra cheese and God's love. Now I'm thinking about pizza. Lunch? Let's do it. Awesome. See y'all later. Hey, I'm gonna, hey. What? You know what? I'll provide some lunch music. Oh, man. Yeah. Strum diddly um shus. On guard! Okay, <laughs> if I have to, okay. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, good yep. parry, good parry. Ah, no, I see you. Where's your move? Look at that. Aha, uh -huh, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're. Cool. 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 Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, exhausting. But I won't give up. Hey, what's that? Huh? Oh, oh, the old what's that? I should have seen it coming. Oh. oh. Yeah, now it makes sense. Um, I focus on school and mostly getting all my assignments in. 
uh, I tend to focus on trying to make all my ins assignments in school like really perfect when I, and then I realize nobody's perfect. Okay. Welcome back friends. Once again, I am so glad that you guys joined us for a morning of Pajama Church. And before we leave, I would love to pray for us. You are welcome to pray alongside with me or you can even make up your own prayer. Would you join me? Dear God, thank you so much for this time with our friends that we have together each week. I pray that as we go into the next week that you would help us to focus on things that make us feel happy and that tend to focus on you, Lord. I pray that you help direct our thoughts and remind us that you are always with us. It's in your son's name we pray, amen. Amen, friends. I cannot wait to see you again next week. Bye. Took a breath, you had a plan